All right, guys, we're here with this week's Coach's Corner. We're here with Coach Jack Blickensdurfer of the Meridian Hawks. He's going to show us a little bit about their high-low offense. So if you want to go ahead and take it away, Coach. Yes, this is the high-low offense that we run. And, and this is the alignment we start in, so I'm not giving them any way of trade secrets because the old call conference, no schools know what we do. But the good thing about this offense is, is that there are counter things to what defenses do. So we really don't care what they do because we have a counter to it. So I'll show the first moves on this. We come down in this setup and we'll break the wings out into this area on both sides. We really don't care which side we go to. But we'll just take for this instance, we'll take the ball and one will pass the two. One can go either side. Prefer him go to the ball side and I'll show you why in just a second. And then he breaks to the corner. Two has the ball and when two gets the ball, five will make an L cut and come, we hope he can come to the top of the key out here and catch a ball and have a three pointer if left open. Most of the time big guys aren't great shooters from outside so they try to catch it in here some and that's okay. Five now has the ball and he will still, four will still keep posting in the middle. This is actually the hardest place to guard a post player right in the middle of the lane. If he plays him here he can pass the ball here. If he plays defender plays him here he can pass the ball this side. If he fronts him he's got the back side for a lob over the top. So we like to take advantage of the ball when a ball is in, lies in the middle and the ball can be here and we always say to the post players, five here and four coming into the middle, that you're your buddies, your first your first objective is to look for your buddy inside, second shot time is to look for your shot, and third reverse the ball. We'll say nobody was open, five will reverse the ball here to three, so we got the ball over with three, four continues to follow across the ball and post up, we'll take two down, set a screen. Five will come, set a stagger screen. One will take his guy here and come across the stagger screen. We will have five down here, two down here, one back here, and five has come off that stagger screen and should have an open shot right in here. If we don't have it, we're right back where we started over again. Two will just pop right back out. We're right back in our initial set. We run the same thing over again, and hopefully we can get the ball into the post. We really want to get the ball inside first and then kick the ball out. And uh, good teams do this. We've done pretty good this year and it's been a good play for us and we'll continue to run it. And uh, coaches know you do it, but it's got good counters to counteract what they do defensively. Hi, I'm Jack Blickensdurfer from Reading Hawks basketball coach. Turn in next week for more from the Coach's Corner.